How to use Nano Mesh for ZBrush or iPad quick tip, let's go. So to use Nano Mesh, we first need a brush that supports Nano Mesh. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab this Industrial IMM Parts Brush. We need to make sure that this is a Nano Mesh supported brush. We're just gonna come up here to this little three dot menu and we're gonna say Create Nano Mesh Brush. Now from here, we're just gonna go ahead and select the object that we wanna use the Nano Mesh on. I'm just gonna press and hold Alt and tap that object. And now I'm gonna hit Solo, press and hold Alt and create a temporary poly group where I would like to have my Nano Mesh. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this out. To create some variation, just open up your tool menu and come on over until you see Nano Mesh. Now we're gonna scroll on down to the bottom and you can see here that I have different options. We're just gonna open up rotation. And for here, we're gonna go ahead and rotate on the Z axis. And then you have what's called ZR variant rotation. It means that, and I rotate this over to the left or to the right, all the bolts will look just a little bit different. Of course, I wanna adjust the size of my object so I can come up here until I see the word size, and then I can make my adjustment based on this as well. Once we're all said and done, come on down to inventory, open up that menu and say one to mesh, and now your nano mesh is actual geometry. That's gonna go ahead and cover it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.